I'm Insomniac and this is Power Llama Coffee from Black Rifle Coffee Company. All right, so I've been missing from the channel for a little bit, uh, about 400 reasons for that, but now we're back. I'm back, bitches! I want to give a big shout out to Nick Lewis for sending this in. He also sent in uh, something else interesting over there that I have to review soon, so stay tuned for that. Also, quick disclaimer, I don't give a fuck about your opinion on Black Rifle Coffee Company as a brand and all the politics and all that bullshit. They didn't even send in this coffee. Nick Lewis sent in this coffee. I just told you that. Whatever gets sent in for review, I review. I don't really care about the company's politics. So if you have a bug up your ass about Black Rifle Coffee Company for some political reason and you're not here to hear whether or not this coffee tastes good, I would suggest leaving the video. Don't let the door hit you with a good lord split you right up your ass. Bye! For the rest of you, make sure that you subscribe, hit the thumbs up button and the notification bell because I have a lot of new reviews coming up soon. Okay, so uh, right off the bat, I like the bag. This llama is strapped. I mean, seriously, look at this. Friggin' llama with machine guns. That's, uh, that's pretty badass. Now, if, I mean, if llamas were that cool, I would have one. Do you want Anyway, outside of that, if you have seen a Black Rifle Coffee Company bag, you've seen this bag. Uh, the only interesting information on here or important information is light roast. Inside the bag, we have a really sweet nutty aroma, kind of like honey glazed nuts. Then you have a big kind of chocolatey, but also slightly like alcohol type aroma that reminds me of like those little rum filled chocolates, if you've ever had those. That's about it. Otherwise, it smells like coffee. You'll notice that I have not showed you the beans on camera. I always do that in my reviews. I have not. And that's because, unfortunately, well, he sent in ground coffee. No! I'm not sure how I let him do that, because I actually know him personally, and I don't let people send in ground coffee, but he sent it in, and I don't want to not review it. The thing that you're all really not going to like, though, is... It's already ground. It's not ground to the right size for me to use any of my regular brewing methods. So... Drip maker. Why well, shit. And with that sad news out of the way, let's brew some of this up and see what it smells and tastes like in liquid form. Okay, so we brewed up some of this Power Llama coffee. Let's see what it smells like. Dark chocolate covered lima beans. No joke. I wrote a poem in the third grade about how I hate lima beans. Oh my God, who the hell cares? And some earthiness. That's it. All right, let's see what it tastes like. Hmm, chocolate cream. A faint dried berry flavor. I have a little bit of a kind of fresh, almost plant-like flavor in the background. Damn. And just a smooth, earthy finish. You have good body, no bitterness. It's not super complex, but it's tasty overall. Pretty good stuff. If I were to rate this on a scale from 1 to 10 Mike Tyson's, I'd give it a 7.5. If you have had this coffee, leave comments down below. Let everybody else know what you think about it. Again, if you want to complain about Black Rifle Coffee Company who didn't even send me this coffee and I didn't purchase this coffee, you can, you know, just fuck <laughs> And another shout out to Nick for sending this in. Thank you very much. I have a handful of new coffee reviews coming up soon that I don't want you to miss. So again, make sure that you're subscribed, have that notification bell hit, and I'll see you all next time.